Hi everybody, thanks for joining. My name is Julia. I am here with Peter Mary Rust and Charles Matthews, and today we'll be talking to you about science or so Peter will start with this. Question. So, doctor, doctor, should I read Wikipedia? I do. <laughs> and so do thousands of doctors worldwide. Uh, so the question is, uh, is it reliable, uh, and how do we uh, make it uh, reliable for everyone? Next slide, please. So it's huge. By the time we finish this presentation, 50,000 people will have visited uh, English Medical Wikipedia. Uh, and that's a huge amount. We need to make sure these articles are accurate and up to date. Next slide, please. So the medical literature is huge. There's a million papers a year. And what we have to do is find those which are most important for Wikimedia editors, uh, medical editors, uh, find those which are reliable, uh, and then create tools uh, to integrate them into the Wikimedia pages, both Wikipedia and Wikidata. Uh, next slide, please. Okay, so how are we going to do this? And um, Maria, if you could please uh, click on the link, we have a little video to Yes, uh, we are loading the video now. Science Source, a project to help develop medical content for Wikipedias in hundreds of languages. Science Source will leverage Wikidata's power of translation into all the languages that have an ISO code. It will call on the guideline developed by Wikimedia's vibrant medical editor community to pick out the best sources for clinical medicine. Downloading a large selection of open access papers, it will use a wiki platform to develop its own community. Drawing on text and data mining techniques, ScienceSource will innovate by using an annotation structure to harvest community fact-checking and views in a machine-readable format. An algorithm combines the human inputs with all relevant metadata to provide facts for Wikidata that are referenced to the best kinds of sources. These facts can then pass into info boxes localized in any language. What's more, Science Source can kickstart the project of building a content management system for the whole open access literature. Uh, uh, you are back now. Uh, we were listening to the video before, so you're you're back on. Yeah, now yeah, you okay. ca we can hear you now, but we couldn't before. So yeah. Okay, fine. I see. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go back and explain in more detail what we're doing here with the recap. But first of all, explain the technical term semi-automation. For me, me it means the best division of labor between humans and for aiming to have machine-assisted work, not machines taking all of the decisions. So, um, the first point was about the really substantial size of the medical literature. South source articles are working on, they would be pre-selected as likely to be the important ones. The source criticism for medical articles is subtle, that is, which are the references that a doctor, a clinical doctor, would accept. That's a subtle matter, we're going to try and make it more algorithmic, that is, put it in a way that, that a machine could be helping take some of those decisions by taking all the factors into account. And authoring, with such a big audience, authoring is clearly a serious matter. What can we do about that? Well, Wikidata stores facts that are passed into info boxes, and that takes some of the strain off humans having to copy facts across from anywhere. They are pulled in automatically. So that is our basic plan for what we're doing. Participation, how would people participation, participate in? Yeah. Can we have the next slide? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, all right, so the next slide is this, um, I, I'll summarize uh, what, we do, what we're doing in the early stages at least. Um, firstly, we're going to set up what's called a focus list. This will help us select with the community's help those articles which we should be concentrating on and downloading to science source and processing. The second part is the human input and decisions on science source comes on annotations. People go and annotate things to assure, assure us that the facts that were extracted to Wikidata have been checked multiple times. 
for, for the, the actual presence in the paper. We want humans to, to validate their presence in the paper before we move them across. So both of these things are very much community based. We, they're volunteer based and they'll be very open and we'll be inviting people to um, come along and do those things with us. Uh, next slide. Right, so what are we doing next? Uh, well, I shall be at Wikimedia in Cape Town. Yeah. <laughs> and the things I'll be uh, presenting on uh, mostly at the hackathon, but I'm going to be there throughout and I hope to have a stall and so on. But one workflow is this focused list of papers. That's going to be fully active then. And I'll be encouraging people and explaining quite what we're looking for. The second workflow, the annotations, I think we'll have a demo and certainly have information about how that will work when you have all the software up and running complete pipeline. The third thing is it will interest software people. How do we design this algorithm? It's actually going to be based very much on the Sparkle language, but we'll still be at a brainstorming stage there where we're looking for input for people who feel they have um, insights into this very subtle business of, of the clinical, um, the needs of clinical medicine in terms of referencing. So we'll be talking about that and certainly um, actively getting on with understanding how what other should consist of. Uh, okay. Me. Yeah. Yeah.